My beloved children, hear the words of your Lord Jesus Christ. I come to you today with a message of utmost urgency, a divine revelation that will shake the foundations of your understanding. Listen closely, for what I am about to share will change everything you thought you knew about the times to come. In a small island nestled in the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, I have chosen to reveal a glimpse of the future through the innocent eyes of a child. This is the story of young Frey, a mere three years of age, whose pure heart has become a vessel for my divine wisdom. Frey's mother, Sister Anne, has been a faithful servant, her devotion unwavering even in the face of great spiritual darkness. For you see, my children, they live in a land where the old ways still hold sway, where witches and sorcerers weave their deceptions, leading many astray from the path of righteousness. It was in this unlikely place that I chose to plant the seeds of a prophecy that would ripple across the world. Through dreams and visions, I began to speak to young Frey, revealing truths that even the wisest among you have yet to fully comprehend. My children, the time of great tribulation draws near. The rapture, that moment when I will call my faithful to my side, looms on the horizon like a storm ready to break. But hear me now. It is not a time for fear, but for preparation. Through Frey's innocent words and Sister Anne's unwavering faith, I have given them a mission of utmost importance. They are to be my messengers, bearers of hope in a world teetering on the brink of chaos. Sister Anne, guided by my hand, has begun to write letters. Not just any letters, but lifelines to those who may be left behind. These words, inspired by the Holy Spirit, are meant to reach out to the lost, the confused, and the spiritually asleep. They are a beacon of light in the darkness that is to come. My beloved, hear the urgency in my voice. The time for lukewarm faith has passed. I call upon each of you to examine your hearts, to rekindle the flame of devotion that once burned brightly within you. For in these last days, it is not enough to simply believe. You must live your faith with every breath, every action, every moment. The enemy, my children, is crafty. He has woven a web of distraction, luring many away from the narrow path with the glittering promises of worldly pleasures. But I tell you this, all that glitters is not gold, and the treasures of this earth will fade away like morning mist. Through Frey's visions, I have shown glimpses of what is to come cities in turmoil, nations rising against nations, the very earth groaning under the weight of sin. But do not despair, for these things must come to pass before the new dawn can break. To those who have ears to hear, listen well. The signs are all around you. The fig tree has put forth its leaves, and the season of my return draws near. But woe to those who are caught unaware, who have traded their spiritual inheritance for a bowl of worldly pottage, Sister Anne and young Frey have been given a heavy burden, a responsibility that would crush those of lesser faith. They have seen the anguish of those left behind, the desperation of souls realizing too late the truth of my words. It is for these lost sheep that they labor, penning words of hope and guidance that will serve as a lifeline in the darkest of times. My children, I speak to you now with all the love and compassion in my heart. Do not let their efforts be in vain. Heed this warning, for it comes not to bring fear, but to awaken you to the reality of the times in which you live. The letters Sister Anne writes are not just for those who may be left behind. They are for you, here and now. They are a call to action, a divine summons to shake off the slumber of complacency and to stand firm in your faith. Feel the urgency, my beloved. Let it course through your veins like fire, for each passing moment brings us closer to the day of reckoning. The rapture is not just an event to be anticipated, it is a promise to be prepared for. I see your struggles, my children. I know the weight of the burdens you carry. The world presses in from all sides, seeking to conform you to its mold. But remember, you are called to be in this world, but not of it. You are my chosen ones, set apart for a divine purpose. Let the story of Frey and Sister Anne be a testament to the power of faith. In their small corner of the world, surrounded by darkness and superstition, 
they have become beacons of my light. Their unwavering trust in me has opened channels of divine communication that many thought long closed. My children, I call you now to a higher level of spiritual awareness. Open your eyes to the signs around you. Open your ears to the whispers of my spirit. For I am speaking even now to those who have hearts to receive. The time of sifting is upon us, like wheat separated from chaff. Those who truly belong to me will be known by their fruits. It is not enough to simply claim my name. Your lives must reflect my teachings. Your actions must embody my love. To those who have grown cold in their faith, I extend my hand of reconciliation. Return to your first love. Rekindle the passion that once burned brightly within you. For the night is far spent and the day is at hand. Sister Anne's letters are a bridge between two worlds, the world as you know it now, and the world as it will be in the times of tribulation. They are filled with wisdom for navigating the treacherous waters that lie ahead. But more than that, they are a call to action for the here and now. My children, do not wait for tomorrow to draw near to me. Do not postpone your spiritual awakening, for none knows the day or the hour of my return. Will you be found ready? Will your lamps be filled with oil when the midnight cry rings out? The enemy seeks to lull you into a false sense of security. He whispers that there is still time, that the day of reckoning is far off. But I tell you this, do not be deceived. The signs of the times are all around you if you have eyes to see. Wars and rumors of wars, famines and earthquakes in diverse places, the love of many growing cold, these are not just words from an ancient text. They are the reality of the world you live in. But take heart, for when you see these things, know that your redemption draws near. Let the faith of young Frey inspire you. In his innocence, he has grasped truths that many adults struggle to comprehend. Through his eyes, I have given a glimpse of the glorious future that awaits those who remain faithful to the end. But my children, that future is not guaranteed. It is a prize to be won, a crown to be earned through perseverance and unwavering faith. The letters Sister Anne writes are not just words on a page. They are a lifeline, a beacon of hope in the darkness that is to come. To those who feel lost, who have wandered far from the path of righteousness, hear me now. It is not too late to return. My arms are open wide, ready to welcome you back into the fold. But do not delay for the night is coming when no man can work. The story of Frey and Sister Anne is not just their story, it is yours. For in each of you lies the potential to be my messenger, my hands and feet in a world desperately in need of hope. Will you answer the call? Will you be my voice in the wilderness? My children, the time for half-hearted commitment has passed. I call you now to a life of radical faith, of unwavering devotion. For in the days to come, it is only those who have built their houses upon the rock who will stand firm against the storms. The letters Sister Anne writes are a blueprint for survival, not just physical survival, but spiritual endurance in the face of unimaginable challenges. They speak of a hope that transcends circumstances, a peace that surpasses all understanding. But know this, my beloved. These words are not just for some future time. They are for you, here and now. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand, and the fields are white unto harvest. Will you be found laboring in my vineyard when I return? The story of Frey's visions is a reminder that I can use anyone, anywhere, to speak my truth. Age, background, circumstances, none of these matter in the economy of my kingdom. What I seek is a willing heart, a vessel ready to be filled with my spirit. My children, the hour is late, the shadows lengthen, and the night draws near. But do not fear the darkness, for I am the light of the world. Cling to me and you will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life. The prophecies given to Frey, the letters penned by Sister Anne, these are not just idle tales or comforting stories. They are a call to arms, a divine summons to take your place in the grand tapestry of my plan for these last days. Remember, my beloved, that faith without works is dead. It is not enough to simply hear these words. You must act upon them. 
Let the urgency of the time spur you to action. Reach out to the lost, comfort the brokenhearted, proclaim liberty to the captives. For in doing so, you become part of the story, not just observers, but active participants in the unfolding of my divine plan. The letters Sister Anne writes are not just for others, they are for you, a personal invitation to step into your divine destiny. My children, I stand at the door and knock. Will you open your hearts to receive this urgent message? Will you allow the story of Frey and Sister Anne to stir you to greater depths of faith and action? The choice is yours, but know this, time is short and the stakes have never been higher. The rapture is not just an event to be anticipated, but a reality to be prepared for with every fiber of your being. Go forth now, armed with this knowledge empowered by my spirit. Let the urgency of Frey's visions and the wisdom of Sister Anne's letters guide you in these crucial times. For you are my witnesses, chosen and appointed for such a time as this. Remember, my beloved, I am with you always, even unto the end of the age. Stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong, for the one who endures to the end will be saved. This is not the end, my children, but a new beginning, a dawn of hope for those who heed this urgent call. Will you be among them? The choice is yours. Choose wisely, for eternity hangs in the balance.